This evening, a huge story caught everyone by surprise, a love story that led to a kind of sensational hoax. The star athlete for the Notre Dame football team riveted the nation with his inspiring story of a girlfriend who had died of leukemia right before a crucial game. It turns out that girl apparently never existed. ABC's Dan Harris explains the incredible tale of fame and deception. It was one of the most dramatic and emotional stories in recent sports history. Manti Teo, the star linebacker for Notre Dame, enduring the death of both his grandmother and then his girlfriend, Lene Kakua, within just six hours. You take the love of my life. Last thing she said to me was, I love you. Teo then went on to lead his team to a series of epic victories. Propelled by his success and his story, he was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. All along, he spoke freely about his twin tragedies. My older brother called me, and he was just crying and crying and crying, and that's when I, I kind of knew, but I was still in denial. But tonight, word that that girlfriend, Lene Kakua, never existed at all. The story, first reported on the sports news website Deadspin, says she was a hoax, and that the picture we all saw was of another woman who is very much alive and says she doesn't know Teo at all. Late today, Notre Dame released a statement that coaches were informed by Teo and his parents that the star had been the victim of what appears to be a hoax. The college says someone using the fictitious name Lene Kakua apparently ingratiated herself with Manti and then conspired with others to lead him to believe she had tragically died of leukemia. The question, was this a case of catfishing, a term based on a documentary about a young man who's fooled into an online romance with a woman pretending to be somebody else? Teo himself has now issued a statement to our partner network ESPN saying he developed what he thought was an authentic emotional relationship with a woman he met on the internet and that they communicated both online and on the phone. He calls this entire episode incredibly embarrassing. That's a direct quote. And he says he hopes others can learn from it. Twists and turns of a modern world and a modern era.